This is taking the back from the mount. So the setup for this is a poor defense for the person that is mounted. person on the bottom has a poor defense, i.e. they don't have their elbows in and their arms are up protecting their face. Using a thumbless grip, I'm going to put one hand on the wrist and the other hand on the elbow. I'm going to use my weight to drive that arm across their neck. Once it's across their neck, I'm going to transition my hand that's on the elbow off and I'm going to use the weight of my chest to keep that arm in place. This arm that was on the elbow is gonna come behind his neck and I'm gonna secure his wrist with that hand, again, using a filmless grip, which is better. This hand then can come to the elbow and then using my hands, my arms, along with the weight of my body, I'm gonna ratchet his body around, shifting every time. Once his elbow's on the mat, it's hard to keep ratcheting him. So I'm gonna drop my weight down and I'm gonna hug around his arm and then use my weight to drive him forward and that'll bring him the rest of the way over. Once he's there, the untrained individual, when I start hitting him, is likely to pop up to their knees going to all fours. Once he goes to all fours, I'm immediately going to set my hooks in. I'm going to stay sitting up or as close to sitting up as I can because it makes it easier to get my hooks in. And then I want an underhook and an overhook and an opposing thumbs grip so it's hard for him to pry my fingers apart. From here, I'm gonna hang on. If he's rolling around, it doesn't matter. I keep my hooks in, and I can start to work for my naked choke from this position.